It seems these demented dog defenders still don't quite understand the problem we have with dog barking. They fail to understand that this is not a passive activity. It is not harmless. Local laws and ordinances don't fully acknowledge its detrimental nature. So, for example, you might find stuff like this. Dogs can bark legally during the day in a way that is not incessant or disturbing toward other people in the area. The problem is that the definition of incessant isn't well defined. And seriously, when is barking not disturbing toward other people in the area? One source states that Excessive barking can be described as constant barking for long periods of time, both day and night, for no apparent reason. But how are they defining a long period of time? Because the thing of it is that any and all barking is too much. A dog barking for just 30 seconds is a long period of time, considering how disruptive and grating it is. And considering that dogs really will bark at nothing at all, there is no good reason for it. For that matter, a single bark, or a few barks in a row, are enough to instantly wreck the peace in an otherwise quiet and tranquil area. I am reminded of this fact on a near daily basis as I walk around a block of flats or an otherwise quiet neighborhood. The sudden onslaught of this sharp and piercing sound instantly demands your attention and puts you on edge. That is how we experience barking. I personally do not believe this has anything to do with being hypersensitive to sounds. But for those who are, it is surely torturous. That is no exaggeration. And here is another problem. Regardless of how we perceive the sound of barking, dogs often direct their menacing vocalizations towards people and it would be the equivalent of shouting threats at a person simply because they happen to be passing by. When dogs are barking, they are not communicating anything meaningful in the slightest. This claim that they are is a poor attempt at justifying a form of noise pollution, which is exactly what barking is. But as I have said so many times, it ultimately doesn't matter why they say dogs are barking, because the barking itself is unacceptable. These apologists fail to take into account the fact that dogs do all of the following things. 1. They will mindlessly bark at people who are moving in the opposite direction of where they are, or in another direction, away from the dog, or dogs. Dogs three stories up in a balcony have barked at me whilst I moved away from them, when I was at ground level, and across the street. There is no good reason for someone to shout violent threats or gibberish at you, even if you pass by on the sidewalk directly in front of their veranda. So why do people get to own a creature that does the same thing, even when you are all the way across the street? And what is the dog barking at exactly? In my experience, the dog's owners have gotten frustrated at their dogs for doing this, and rightly so, as they should simply not be barking at anything and everything that passes by. Two. Dogs mindlessly bark and yap at people from moving cars. Seriously, what in the hell are you going to say they are communicating to anyone in that scenario? So for instance, a dog in a car that passes you, whether you are on foot or behind the wheel yourself, is liable to bark its stupid head off just because the thing sees you. What purpose is this supposed to serve, dog nutters? 3. Dogs mindlessly bark and yap at people from inside of stationary vehicles, at people harmlessly passing through, who are moving away from the stupid critters and in some other direction, rather than towards them. 4. Dogs mindlessly bark and yap and snap and growl and lunge and run towards people from behind fences and gates. This is directed at people who are passing by the area and doing absolutely nothing to warrant such hostility. As I said already, once again, it doesn't matter why dog apologists think these defective creatures bark. Dog barking is very out of place in modern cities and human settlements in general. The people making excuses for this behavior will continually ignore the following contention. When a dog outside sees us walking by, it will come running towards the fence and it will jump or lunge towards us whilst barking. Many dogs likewise have this reaction when they are being walked by their owners and thus restrained. And I don't want to hear some bullshit excuse about barrier frustration. The behavior exhibited by the dogs is unacceptable and serves no useful function or purpose. 
and you are the one who chose to own this deranged so-called animal, not us. So why should we be expected to suffer their unwanted sonic assaults and general incursions? 5. Dogs mindlessly chase cyclists, joggers, even stationary pedestrians who are moving away from them, or who are nowhere near them. So in other words, dogs will apparently go out of their way to engage someone not interacting with them in any way. A dog attack victim is often a person who not only wasn't interacting with the dog in any way, but who was probably not even aware of the dog's presence until the beast is dangerously close, having come from out of nowhere. This is a very unpleasant experience. In general, even when passing by a dog in a backyard with a fence around it, a dog will mindlessly bark for a long time, even though we're moving past it or away from where it is, either to the left or to the right. In any case, we are moving away from the dumb thing. There is no excuse. There are countless conditions under which dogs exhibit this mindless aggression. If dogs can't help themselves and don't know any better than their owners who should know better, should simply not have them, knowing full well that this is how dogs conduct themselves.